Hi, I'm Matt Vanacoro, and I am very excited to jump into the Korg Prologue with you. The Korg Prologue is a really amazing synthesizer that is becoming more of a platform. You'll see why in a moment. It looks like a standard subtractive analog synthesizer on the outside, but Korg has packed so much into this keyboard that makes it really easy to use, but also really easy to develop amazing sounds for. There are some elements of this keyboard that are brand new for the analog synthesizing world. One of the things that's really cool is that this keyboard has a multi-engine that allows you to generate your own oscillator sounds. So in addition to your standard oscillators that are included, you actually have a programmable oscillator that there's an open source development kit for, and people can generate and create their own cool sounding oscillators, and you can download them and add them in. You'll find some for free, and you'll find some paid for by reputable synth companies that will allow you to expand this keyboard into like the next zone. So it's a really, really cool thing. We're going to take a look at everything this keyboard has to offer, from the oscillators to the filters to the envelopes to the effects, uh, and then finally jumping into the user content and even taking a look at some third-party oscillators that were developed by other companies. There are ways to make this analog synth, this subtractive synth, sound like an FM synth or sound like um, a wavetable synth. And some of it is even included. So there's a lot of things that make this synth cool and different. And there's a lot of things behind the scenes that you can control that don't necessarily involve the front panel as you see it. So we'll take a look at every element of this synth and we're going to have some fun doing it. So I hope you're ready to learn how to design all kinds of different sounds with this keyboard because I am definitely ready to show you. Let's jump in and get it done. <laughs> 